Hey everyone, it's Adriot73 here and I'm going to be doing my so highly requested doll room tour today for you all. So I hope you guys enjoy and the only reason I'm doing this video is because you guys requested it so much. This is no way to brag about my doll room or anything in my doll room whatsoever. So I'm not trying to brag, just keep this in mind while I'm doing this tour. I just wanted to do it for all those people who requested this video. So if you know you're going to comment like, oh you're spoiled, you're bragging, then just leave this video now because this is only for the people who requested it. Okay, so enough with me rambling and let's get started with the tour. So here's pretty much an overview of my doll room. So here's the bottom floor and then up here is the top floor. First I'm going to start off with the bottom floor. Welcome to the bedroom. So when you first walk in their room, what you see is all their bags. So we just have like their new school book bag. Um, Emily and Julie's basketball bag because they both play basketball. This is Julie's purse and then that is Emily's purse right now because Mar that's originally Marisol's purse but she's at the doll hospital if you guys didn't know that. So that is officially Emily's purse for now until um, uh, Marisol comes back. I always get all my doll names mixed up like something's Marisol's and I say it's Julie's and then I say it's Emily's and then I finally say it's Marisol's. Just don't ask guys, don't ask. Right over here is my doll closet wardrobe dresser thingy. Um, so on top of it, there's this little tin of Altoids, this mini painting, um, a little Purell bottle, the strap from the 2-in-1 watch set, which Julie has the other strap on right now, um, this random little purple clip, and this American Girl glasses case with some sunglasses in it, which I'm pretty sure are from Michael's I think um, and in the main part of the wardrobe thingy is all my doll bottoms like pants and skirts and things like that there's also the cozy sweater here from the cozy sweater outfit because it doesn't fit in my doll closet and I'm doing I'm gonna do a doll closet tour soon because my doll dressing room has changed and in this little drawer there's all their accessories like underwear bathing suits all that jazz. Right over here is one of my favorite parts of my entire doll room house thing. This is their desk and my brother actually made this for me and I painted the inside but didn't have enough paint for the top so it kind of looks a little silly. But um, on top of their desk they have mostly all the things from the science set from America Girl, the new science lab set which I have a review on and also it's one of my um, things that I got at the America Girl place in New York. I think two days ago, and I have a haul video on that. And sorry, my phone is going off, but um, right over here is the science textbook, the little microscope slides, the test tubes, which are like my favorite part, the little goggles, and the microscope. And then over here, there's a little cup from the kitchen, and I just put these pencils in it, which I have a tutorial on if you guys want to go check that out. And there's also some mechanical pencils from the backpack set, and these little scissors. And inside here, there's the typewriter set and um, just a bunch of books and notebooks and, like, other school supply things. So, yeah. Right over here is Emily and Marisol's bed. So, my dad made this bunk bed, and I think it's super adorable. So, the first bunk, which is the top bunk, is Emily's bed. Her bedding didn't change at all. I just hate how you can see every single little piece of dust with her um, bedding, but... It's just the same bedding that she had before. Nothing really changed about it. She has her two pillows like always, her little porcelain doll, and her One Direction stuffed animal, which is like the cutest thing ever. And on the corner of her bed, she has the um, apron from the science set. Down here is Marisol's bed. Her bedding I actually switched with Julie's just to kind of give it a little change. And her two pillows I sewed except for this one. I kind of lied. I didn't sew this one. This one came with a set from Our Generation because I thought it was pink and white. And I, I really like that damask pattern. So I thought that would go really cute with her bedding and stuff. And um, this is her little pig webkins. And it's like an actual little webkins. It's super cute. If you want to know where I got that, you can comment down below. And um, this is her little doll, which is kind of creepy. It's from the dollar store, but when I find my other porcelain doll, I will replace that ugly doll with the pretty porcelain one. And right over there is um, Marisol's TV. And that's what I like about the bottom bunk, that you could have, like, things on the posts. And there's, like, little posters over there. And then, um, sorry about the wires. That's my phone wire, and that's my um, um, 
uh, air conditioner wire and that's um a little American Girl shopping bag right there, which I got at the American Girl place. So that's pretty much their beds. Now we are on to Julie's part of the room. So on the other side of the post to Emily and Marisol's bed, there is this little like um, sage movie thingy from the catalog. And I just decided to put it on the um, post here so Julie could have something to look at. Um, right over here beside Julie's bed, I'm not sure what to put here yet. Not sure. So comment down below either a nightstand or a uh, chair or I don't know. Just comment down below and um, yeah, maybe I'll consider it and give you a shout out or something. Um, so here is Julie's bed and this is Emily's box that she came in, as you guys all know. I covered it with a um, pillowcase because I just felt like it needed something to cover the box because I kind of felt a little bit weird when she was sleeping directly on a box. Um, of course, my home phone is ringing. Anyways, um, her bedding is Marisol's, which I switched. And here's Miss Julie. I think she looks super cute today. Comment down below if you think she looks adorable. And um, yeah, she's just like chilling on her bed. Over here, she has a Caroline poster. I just love that dress. Isn't that adorable, guys? Right over here is her two pillows that I sewed her and her Julie mini doll and her little um, forever, no, not forever 21, Victoria's Secret dog. And then there's another American Girl shopping bag right there. So, yeah. Right over here is the pet room. So, when you first walk in from the bedroom, there is the pet bathtub set from American Girl. And I just got this from the American Girl place two days ago. Again, if you guys want to go check out my haul video, it's on my channel. So, down here on this little shelf, there is a brush, a little rubber ducky, and um, this little soap thing. It says Scrub a Dub Pet Shampoo. So, I thought that was super cute. Ugh. Go in here. Okay. Here's the actual little bathtub part, which could like come apart from the stand. And there's a little um, super cute towel hanging over it. And here's Miss Gracie. She's just taking a little bath, getting herself clean. Right over here is Nutmeg's bed. And Nutmeg is Julie's bunny. And Gracie is Emily's dog. So she just has this little wicker basket bed with her super cute little pillow inside. And she has her carrots as well. And I love Nutmeg. I highly recommend her. She's super adorable. And over here is Sugar's bed. And Sugar's Marisol's dog. So there's her cute bed that has Sugar embroidered on it. And here's Miss Sugar. I love her little collar. It's super adorable. And she only has one um, food bowl for now. But the other one, I seriously have no clue where it is. Because my room is a disaster. And above Sugar and Nutmeg, there is this super cute poster from the American Girl Law catalog. I had to cut this out, guys. It's the Good Mo Goodbye Molly poster, and I thought this was so adorable. I love Molly, um, so I thought it was really sad that she's leaving. But, yeah, I just decided to put that in my doll room. So, yeah. Moving up to the top floor, we have the living room. So when you first walk in the living room, what you see is a American Girl shopping bag. And over here is their couch. It's just boxes stacked on top of each other. I'm going to probably ha have my dad make me one because, you know, he made those tables and chairs and my doll loft bed. Well, bunk bed. It's not a loft bed. But anyways, so there's just a little blanket on it from the RV set from our generation. And then that's a little pillow that I sewed. And here's the table. It's just the Easy Breezy Outfit box. And I put a um, mirrored thingy on it. So right over here, there is a hand sanitizer. There's also this math book, this notebook, and a little pencil. And those are all from the school set from America Girl. The backpack set, the new one, yeah. And then there's two little books right there. And over here, there is just the violin and the guitar. Two guitar books, and over here is the stand with two violin books on it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the living room. Last but not least, we have the kitchen, which is one of my favorite parts of my doll room. Here is the table and chairs, and my dad made this for me, and I painted it white. And there's just this really pretty table runner I put on it. Right over here is the actual kitchen. I plan on doing a separate tour of this soon for you all. And here's Miss Emily filming another one of her vlogs, and I plan on uploading those soon as well. Bye!
拜。